let us do some questions on distance time graph if you are not comfortable with distance time graphs please watch the previous video i have given the link in the description box four cars a b c and d are moving on a straight road the distance time graphs are shown which car runs fastest now we can see from here that the four lines are straight lines that means we can definitely say that a b c and d all are having a, all are all are moving with uniform speed right now which has maximum speed wo kaise pata chalega we know that in distance time graph slope gives you the speed ab slope jiski sabse zyada hai uska speed sabse zyada hai ab yaad rakhiyega स्लोप हमने बताया पेंडिकुलर अपॉन बेस है ना अगर आपको दो लाइन के बीच में स्लोप को कंपेयर करना है किसका ज्यादा तो आप एंगल को चेक करिए एंगल एक्स एक्सिस के साथ ये वाला जो टाइम एक्सिस होता है जो एक्स एक्सिस के लोग है इसके साथ जिसका एंगल बड़ा होगा दिस हैज ग्रेटर एंगल राइट सो द स्लोप ऑफ बी इज ग्रेटर देन स्लोप ऑफ ए यू हैव टू जस्ट कंपेयर द एंगल्स ओके सो B is making least angle, so slope of B is least. Then A, then D, and maximum slope is of C. So the speed speed of C is maximum. Okay. The graph given alongside shows the positions of a body at different times. What can you say about the motion of a body? Calculate the speed of the body as it moves from A to B, B to C, and C to D. Now look at the graph. Distance versus time. Distance is in centimeter. Time is in seconds. You have to find out the. You have to tell the motion of the body from A to B. Tell me A to B. It is straight line, so it is uniform motion or uniform speed. Now find out the value of speed. Speed is given by the slope of the graph. Slope is perpendicular upon base, right? ये ए और बी है नाउ ड्रॉप ऑफ पेंडिकुलर दिस लेंथ अपॉन दिस बेस पेंडिकुलर अपॉन बेस दिस लेंथ इज व्हाट दिस इज थ्री माइनस जीरो थ्री माइनस जीरो अपॉन फाइव माइनस टू सो इट इज थ्री बाय थ्री वन सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड आप इसको ऐसे भी समझ सकते हैं एक्चुअली वी आर ओनली डिवाइडिंग डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम वेलोसिटी होता है डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम है ना तो आप देख रहे हैं बी पे डिस्टेंस है थ्री एट ए डिस्टेंस इज जीरो टाइम एट बी इज फाइव टाइम एट ए इज टू सो वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम ओनली क्लियर ओके नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज द मोशन वेन द बॉडी मूव अलॉन्ग बी सी इट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरल टू द टाइम एक्सेस सो दैट मीन्स द बॉडी इज एट रेस्ट The speed is zero. Okay, you can even find it. You can directly write it. You can also write it. Velocity you find. We will add c. What is the distance? Three. Add b. What is the distance? Three. Time is seven minus five. So zero upon two. It is zero. Okay. Otherwise, you can even directly write. Okay. Next is c to d. C to d is again uniform motion. What is the speed? Distance traveled is seven minus three, you know, seven minus three, and what is the time? Nine minus seven. So seven minus three upon nine minus seven, four by two, two centimeter per second. Now, what can you say about the acceleration of the body? Acceleration of the body is. यहाँ पे क्या है? Uniform speed. Uniform speed means zero acceleration. B C. body rest pe so there is no acceleration and c to d is also no acceleration so acceleration is zero next the figure shows distance time graphs of two trains a and b the train start starts simultaneously in the same direction how much ahead of a is b when the motion starts now observe the graph at time zero train a is here train b is at point p so we can say that b train is 100 km ahead of a right now what is speed of b b ka line kaun sa hai pink straight line hai uniform motion hai ye hame clear hai dono ka hai uniform motion hai because it is straight line now how do you find speed i told you by finding the slope ab dekhiye 
on the strength line take any two points i am taking p and q aapne perpendicular drop kiya now you make a triangle here aise kya kar raha hai humne slope okay slope is perpendicular upon base what is perpendicular this length 150 minus 100 right this perpendicular is 150 minus 100 this base is 2 minus 0 so 50 upon 2 it is 25 km per hr okay the next is when and where will a catch b ab dekhiye jis point pe intersection ho raha hai that means the trains are meeting at that point so at 2 hours and at 150 km both both trains are meeting a will catch b at point q after 2 hours and at its and at a distance of 150 km what is the difference between the speeds of a and b b we have just found it's 25 km per hr speed of a find out slope of a blue line ka slope find karna hai take any two points a q point le lo a ye wala point le lo what is this length 150 minus 0 you know and what is this length it is 2 minus 0 so 150 by 2 it is 75 km per hr and therefore the difference is 50 km per hr 75 minus 25 is the speed of both trains uniform or non uniform of course uniform because it is straight line 